friends, welcome! My name is Miss Multi Console and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2! I am at the Orc Tomato Farm, we are hunting down our second seed, I think there might be three of them, so we're getting there, we're getting there, so I am going to go and talk to this dude over here, the friendly Orc, let's go talk to him and see how he's doing. Hello again little human, what brings you here this time? I want to find some flowers. This is just a hunch, but you're not about to ask for directions to the nearest chromatic K, are you? Now how did you know? <laughs> Alright then, you'll want to head east out of the bog and then keep going straight. Once you hit the ocean, turn left and follow the coast all the way around until you reach the end of the spit. You should be able to see the chromatic K from there. If you've got some way of flying, you can jump off the end and soar on over. Okay, awesome. Thank you for the helpful advice. I am sure we'll find it though. Alright, I wonder what kind of island we are going to find when we get to this one. I am excited to uh, to find out. I don't think it's very far, so that's cool. Hey, maybe I could kill some bad boons on the way. I have been told that they drop heartwood, so I kind of want some some extra heartwood. I think it's going to be like a kind of rare-ish drop, but like it would be so cool if you could just like collect loads of them. Ah, oh, just some bark. Maybe I'm just not very lucky. Hey, there's spoil spores down here and everything. You know, I think I'm wanting to collect some more of these like plants and stuff because like they look they look really interesting like it literally looks like I just walked into an alien planet or something and I I want to put some more of those little plants down I haven't used any of those and they could make some for some interesting decoration items I think okay let's destroy this one and this one yeah they're not dropping any just I guess I'm just like not lucky or something I don't know all right just some bark there all right let's keep going I think we are close I believe I think that the signpost will be over this way I'll kill that bad boon on the way let's see if he drops anything come on don't be stingy <laughs> give me some oh I got a medicinal shrub seed though so that's cool I could use that I could use that for sure okay here we go we are now here let's see what flower we're gonna find this time I hope it's the pink ones I like those oh it's the yellow ones may the yellow flowers of the covenant bring joy to the land a joy that lies on the far horizon all right let's do this oh I nearly I nearly fell I nearly didn't press the uh, the X button there I'm a bit low am I gonna be able to reach oh phew, that was kind of close <laughs> but we're okay we're, we're all good this island looks bigger than the last one for sure I just want to find some secrets on the island as well oh what's this we've got spoil spoils this is way bigger wow way bigger oh no I'm being attacked by bodkins as well but let's read this bottomless swamp no swimming but I want to swim oh we have have, oh, I remember we had like a little swampy area in the first game actually. All right, let's destroy these. Okay, I can't get anything from them. I guess we'll go and destroy the the bodkins. We've got some evil bodkins that are trying to murder us. Yeah, the, the like bluey purple looking ones. All right, let's go and get them. I think that they can paralyze you, which is super annoying. So I have to be careful. Don't hit me. He hit the floor. Did you see that? <laughs> he literally aimed at the floor. <laughs> Maybe it's because I was like below him in the water. I don't know, but they're not very good at um, aiming, are they? You would think that they would be really good, but um, yeah, they need some practice. <laughs> Maybe they should shoot those little arrow things. I think that might have been on Dragon Quest XI, actually. The little targets, the little targets that you shoot at. That's what I was thinking of for some weird reason. Okay, let's see if we can find some more bodkins. I don't know where they're all hiding out. It's kind of hard to find them. This is an awesome looking tree. I actually think this might be some kind of bridge or something. I want to get to the top and see what's up there. Let's see. Oh, there's like a little area here. Is this like a little home? Is this like a little bodkin home or something? I wonder. I want to get to the top, see if there's anything up here because you never know what you're going to find in this game. Let's go all the way up. Although my dog probably would be barking, right? Oh, damn. I didn't mean to fall off. <laughs> of course. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Anything up here or did I just waste my time climbing all the way up here? I might have wasted my time. It's really cool how you can pick up like individual leaves now I think that's awesome okay so where can I go to find some more bodkins I wonder I can't see any oh there's some down here yes let's land here awesome okay here we go let's destroy some more here we go have at you little bodkin archers 
many more there. This is the fifth one. Okay, almost. See, we're getting there. What is that one of the... Oh, he's guarding a little treasure chest. Okay, let's see. Um, in danger I am. Help me, you must. This is a friendly one. Hey, dude, what's up? Hmm. A human approaches, does she? I love these guys. No time for talking is this. Save me and speak later we will. Bodkin Boyers, you must defeat. I've already been destroying them. Oh, so when I destroy them, I'll get that um, chest as a reward. I totally didn't even notice that. So that's awesome. Okay, let me see. I guess I'm not high enough to use my, my thingy, my windbreaker <laughs> at the moment. So that sucks. All right, let's climb up. Ah, oh, damn, I keep falling falling off. <laughs> My balance is terrible today. All right, let's go up. I have no idea where the other bodkins are actually, but I am sure we will find them. It would be cool if we could find some caves and Stuff like that too. All right, let's see. Oh, I nearly didn't get my, my windbreaker out in time then. All right, where are you at? Okay, over there. That's cool. I see some kind of like fire. The, yeah, there's like a little cave with um, fires in. I think I already went in that one actually, but there is a bodkin up here. So let's go and teach this guy a lesson. No one destroys our friends, like the bodkin friends that we have. The, the good guys, the good bodkins. <laughs> I like those guys. Um, there's one more, and I'm sure he was around this area, but I've kind of lost sight of him. I have no idea where he's gone. Ah, over there. I see him. I see him. All right, we got this. We got this. He's kind of, they're kind of like scattered. They're kind of like hard to, hard to see, but I think we got him. Just one. Oh no, there's two more. Oh, god damn. I need to find that other one as well. I totally did notice that there was another one. Okay, let's get this guy. Here we go. It's nice that they drop grass seeds every time that they die as well, because I am always needing those. So that's really awesome. Let's go down here, because I don't know if I went down this way. It doesn't seem to be anything here, I guess. Where's the last one? Where are you hiding, you damn bodkin? <laughs> Am I missing something? Am I blind or something? I don't know. Maybe let's just try going high because every time I've gone up like really high, I've managed to find them. So maybe that will help. I can hear him. Oh, he's down there. I see you. Ha ha. I have found you, you little pesky archer. All right, then let's go and get the treasure. It's just there. They are defeated. Awesome work, dude. Oh, right. Looks like that's the last of them. I don't know why they were attacking one of their own, though. Well, they're, like, different. They're, like, they got different skin colour, I guess. Maybe they're, maybe they're racist. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. That kind of sucks. The purple ones have always been evil for some weird reason. Thank you, humans. My life, I owe you. I like these dudes. Rewarded your bravery will be. Come here. Yes, yes. Come quickly. Okay, I am on my way. Let's do this. Let's go get our reward. I'll have to be careful not to land on the brambles. It belongs to the bodkins, this island does. Aha. I like how they all have their own islands. That's cool. Okay, bodkin, what have you got for me? Thank you, humans. Defeat the bodkin bowyers. You did. Save me. You did. Their pallid purple faces. Did you see? Sick the bodkin bowyers are, completely enraptured by the children of Hargon. But they were sick before, like, haven't they always attacked us? <laughs> Tried to steal the seeds of the covenant they did. Lucky you arrived in time it was. Speaking of which, what brings you to this island, humans? I come for your seeds. I come for your flowers. A builder, you say? Building a new day tree, you say? Then take the daffo daisy seeds. <laughs> What an awesome name. In this chest you must. Seeds of the Covenant they are. Complete your new day tree you must. Do so and rejoice. Our ancestors will. Please, the seeds, take them. Don't mind if I do. Okay, here we go. Let's take them. Alrighty. Obtained the Daffo Daisy seeds. I love that name. Daffo Daisies. That's what we should call our plants in future. Daffo da Daisies. I like it. <laughs> Hey look, we found some more flower seeds, just like Rosie asked us to. Let's thank this little green guy and get back to the farm. Hey dude, will you come back to my farm with me? I would love it if you did. Hmm, terrible the children of Hargon are. <laughs> Yes, they are. Saw the island was teeming with the power of creation they did. Destroy the day tree they did. Yep, I am aware. And not only that, turned the blessed day tree into a spoil spore spreading source of death and disease they did. I know. The nerve. And to add 
insult to injury, blame it all on the builder they did. Hmm. I know, right? Be so easily tricked, I did not think the humans would. Ah, that we have entered in an alliance with such credulous creatures to think. What a terrible, terrible tragedy. Well, I am sorry. <laughs> I am trying to make it up to you now, okay? I will rebuild the day tree and all will be forgiven, right? At least I hope so. <laughs> I wonder if I've missed anything on this island. I'm gonna have a little look around and then I will head back to the base. Might not be anything here. Nah, I don't think there's anything here. Let's go back to the base. All right, here we go. Let's walk back and see what happens when we turn our quest in. Hopefully they have made some good progress on the day tree. I hope so. Let's see if I can see how they've been getting on whilst we've been away. Look how tall it is. Holy moly, I wasn't even away from the base that long and it's got super big. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Wiggly, what have you got for me, dude? Ooh, uh, you've gone and found some yellow flower seeds for us, haven't you? I certainly have. They look so lovely. I can't wait to see them in full bloom. If only old Pastor Owl could have been here to see them. But that's all the more reason to finish the day tree. It's what he would have wanted. Yes, we must complete the day tree and save the world. Speaking of Pastor Owl, I've been thinking more about what he said, about how we could give more power to the day tree, right? I get the feeling that planting these flowers won't be quite enough to get it back to a full strength. We have to do something else too, we do. He said that we need to imbue it with the purified power of everything that blooms and bears fruit. I'm not exactly sure how we'd go about doing that. Imbue it with purified power of everything that blooms and bears fruit. Isn't that a lot of stuff? I, I don't know, but I'll find out. And as soon as I do, you'll be the first to know. You might have to wait a while, but I promise it will be worth it. Okay, I'm counting on you, Rosie. For now, Malsy, we need to focus on finishing this ear blueprint. Right, and just like last time, it's up to you to finish the final block of heartwood slap bang in the middle. Alrighty, I like doing this. I like doing I like how they've given us the the most important job, the finishing touches and all that. So that is awesome. Alright, let's see. I'm surprised how big this is now. It's gotten really tall. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, cool. Let's see about planting these things then. So we want to put these around the outside like so. Absolutely beautiful. And then the finishing touch in the middle. Yay! We now have the level 2 blueprint. Awesome. It's getting really big. It looks so cool. <laughs> looks awesome. I can't wait to see this completed. Alrighty. Okay, let's wait. Oh, let's talk to the villagers. I want to get that dumb monkey. Oh, he just says the same thing. Okay, let's go talk to my other residents before I accept the next thing. I don't even know what my next quest is, to be honest. Okay, oh, okay. They just say the same thing at the moment for some weird reason. I guess I just gotta like wait. We won't give up more seat. Yeah, they just say the same thing at the moment. Let's talk to Wiggly and see what he says. Ooh, uh, you've placed the block of artwood and finished the blueprint, have you? That's blimmin' brilliant. I try, I try. Now all we need to do is plant those daffo daisy seeds and charge the day tree up with power and then we can move on to the next stage. Oh, what's the next stage? Doesn't it bother anyone else that the children of Hargon haven't tried to stop us? They must have worked out what we're doing by now. Hmm, that is a little bit strange. I have an eyeball in my screen. I'm being watched. <laughs> How creepy. <laughs> it's what they always do. I've heard stories about the time long, long ago before everyone began believing their lies. Maybe they wait, yeah, maybe they wait until we like build it up and then destroy it after so then we lose hope. Yeah, I think that's what she's going to say. After they destroyed everything, the children of Hargon would always give people hope. Let us think things were all going to turn out all right again. And just when victory was so close we could taste it, they'd destroy everything all over again and throw us into more despair than ever before. Ah, uh, I see. I mean, it's a good strategy, I suppose. Ha ha ha! That's pretty clever. I like it. 
You shouldn't compliment them, Malrov. <laughs> but obviously, they're an awful bunch and they have to be stopped. Right. Mosi, Malrov, I'm just as worried as you are about the children of Hargon, but we can't let them stop us. We have to focus on finishing the day tree. Right, so let's see. What do we have to do next? Oh, yes. We have to find a place to plant the Daffo Daisy seeds. I've already done that. <laughs> I'm one step ahead of you. I think it would be nice to plant them around the block of heartwood, just like you did the milk blossoms. Go and plant them, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I've already done it though. It's all good. We are we are done. Ooh, ah, blimmin' fine work there. Them Daffo Daisies look almost as handsome as me. <laughs> no, Wiggly, you are much more handsome. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of flowers, to be honest. They seem kind of weak. They smell okay, though. Malroff, what are you like? Apparently, Furrowfield used to be carpeted with meadows that were completely full of flowers. Imagine how lovely it must have smelled then. Indeed. Does it still smell really bad here? <laughs> Maybe it does. Once the day tree's back in action and light and life returns to the island, we can plant our own fields of flowers. Then we won't have to imagine. That would be awesome. We would definitely do that. I want to plant some now. I could probably plant a few now, right? But I don't have that many seeds at the moment. Eeb, did you see that? A flash of light just came out of the Daffo Daisies. I didn't because I was too busy looking at all my glorious villagers. <laughs> Huh? Where did this breeze come from? It feels kind of nice. Is it raining? I swear I just saw some rain fall down, but maybe I am seeing things. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Is our aura going to grow? Looks like our aura is growing. Isn't it looking great so far, guys? I think it's coming along really nicely. We just need to finish the last finishing touches. Maybe is there like one more level maybe? Once again, the flowers you've planted have imbued the day tree with power. It seems it has developed the strength to drive away the ill wind somewhat. Oh, that's good because it's all purple and gloomy around here. It could do with a, a clearer sky. <laughs> Whoa, the breeze coming off of this tree is totally like firm but gentle. I feel so blessed right now. I'm glad Brittany's happy. I can hardly believe it. We're really building an all new day tree from scratch. This is blimmin' brilliant. It sure is. Aroo! And Fluffles is happy. <laughs> Yippee! Now all we have to do is build the very top of the tree and the day tree will be complete. We're almost there, guys. Oh my god, this day tree it does take a, a while to build, doesn't it? It. I didn't think it would take this long. <laughs> if we're going to finish the day tree, you'll need to draw the next blueprint, Multi. Alright, let's get to it then. This will be the third and final section. So go all out and draw the biggest and best blueprint you can. Okay, let's do it. It's going to be exactly the same size, but hey, that is fine. <laughs> let's put our turtle back into it. <laughs> we're putting our back into it. <laughs> We are Master Roshi's disciple after all. Alright, here we go. I think that is our final floor on the day tree, right? I'm excited to see how this turns out actually. So one more floor to go. I can't wait to see them all build the last floor. Alright, here we go. Goodness gracious me, the third time really is the, ch is the charm. What a terrific design. It looks fantastic. And what's more, once we finish this, the day tree will be finished too can't wait we should still have plenty of materials in the chest so all we have to do now is jolly well build the thing they repeat some of the dialogue don't they it's a bit annoying and i've worked out what we need to do to fill the day tree with as much power as possible you have do you remember what i said about needing to imbue it with the purified power of everything that blooms and bears fruit well that must mean our five crops right but how are we going to do that if we can find a way to extract the vital essence of everything we've grown so far, we can charge the day tree with more power than ever before. How about a smoothie or something? I don't know. I'll tell you all the ingredients that need to go into it. You'll just need to figure out a way to make it. All right, okay. That sounds good to me. Let's see. I've got my thinking cap on. Best of luck, my girl. For the rest of us, our mission is clear. We must finish building the day tree. Okay, we're almost there everyone. We just need to pull together and finish this final leg. 
for Thorofield, I say! For Thorofield! Yeah! <laughs> Exciting times! Okay, so what have I learned? What is this recipe that contains all the vegetables? Water of life. Oh, I was expecting a smoothie. I wanted it to be one. <laughs> a dewy drop derived from the leaf of life and a variety of vegetables. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. All right then. So I just got to find one more flower, it seems. Oh, I got another quest to accept. It's probably just to find the last flower, right? The end is finally in sight, Multi. Hooray at last. And what's more, everyone here has the will and the energy to see our mission through but there is one thing that we won't be able to handle on our own our new day tree needs a moat of crystal clear water oh okay after all it is a plant like any other is it not but the muddy water that has served us well so far isn't nearly good enough for something so holy so am i gonna finally be able to get clear water thank god i've been wanting this for a little while actually Wrigley tells me there's an underground spring beneath Furrowfield Bog where pure, clean water wells from the ground. Ah, oh, that's so cool. At least we don't have to get another flower because it was starting to get a bit repetitive, so <laughs> I'm glad. So there you have it, my girl. While we continue construction of the blueprint, you must seek out this spring. Okay, I shall mark the location on your map so that you can head straight there. Gather up your water in that bottomless pot of yours and bring it right back. Okay, finally, we're gonna have clean water, guys. <laughs> if you have trouble, it might help to ask that tomato farming orc I've heard so much about. From what I've heard, it seems you would be lost without him he's been very uh, helpful yes he has been an asset for sure <laughs> okay i'm gonna stop the episode here for now looks like my villagers are gonna continue building on the day tree it's looking fantastic so far it's getting very tall now it goes up so high which is really cool i can't wait we're so close now guys we're so close this thing takes a while but it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be worth it Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you see on the channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Please comment, rate and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time.